people of YouTube, All About Nat is back with another video. All right, just trying to move this so I can fit this enormous box in front of me. So, as you can tell by the title, I have a mahusive haul of streetwear, clothing, accessories to show you guys. Now, one of the best things about starting a YouTube channel for me is the people that I have met through it. Um, YouTube as well as Instagram. And I have got some fantastically close friends uh, through starting the channel. And one of those friends, you've probably heard me mention him before, Michael. Now, we have, I would class Michael probably as close friends as the ones I have here. He is an absolute cracker of a guy. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Michael, for helping me out with getting these items. So when I say helping me out, basically he has helped me acquire some items that is saving me a lot of money via customs, charges, taxes, and all that. So over the last few months, I have built up rather a lot of stuff that he has now sent me. I am expecting one more box, and I'm, so I'm gonna do this video in two parts. It should come tomorrow. They shipped at the same time, but I suspect they've been separated. So I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna to come tomorrow, the second box. Let's get into this in just a second. If you're new to my channel though, please hit that subscribe button, turn your little notification bell on so you know when I'm dropping a video. I, I can't emphasize that enough. YouTube has really knackered a lot of us recently because they're not notifying people. They're really not. So if you can, please hit that notification button. Also, if nothing is happening and you, you've gone like a month and you've not seen a single video of mine, please come back and check it out because I probably will have posted um, and it's just not been notifying you. Also comment down below, have you acquired any of these things and what do you think of them? Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So if you do have friends in the States and you live in the UK, top tips, okay, number one, Put, ask your friend to put on there, because you will have to declare what's in the box and you will have to declare, is it a gift, is it not, blah, blah, blah. So what you, you want to put down a low number. So anything below, from $50 to below. Otherwise, you're going to get a fat charge. The other thing you can do to stop the charge <laughs> is pretend that it's your birthday now he didn't have to go to all this trouble but he actually bought wrapping paper and wrapped every single thing so it does feel like it's my birthday <laughs> oh god he's so good he didn't have to do that but it is good so if you've got some old wrapping paper i'm not saying or it lets everybody be like michael and go out and buy paper he's gone above and beyond wrap the stuff up whether it be newspaper toilet roll anything wrap it up because if they do open your box which they have done a few times um for me they see the labels on the stuff, they see the actual value, they will slap you with the charge. But they cannot open this stuff. They can't open it because it's present. But obviously it's not because I've given Michael every single penny of this stuff. But it just throws them off the scent. So let's get into these two items. First item, oh, it does feel like my birthday though. First item is Cactus Plant Flea Market. Uh, the Kerwin Frost Telethon. Now, people in the States will probably know Kerwin Frost better than me, but I do know of him. He uh, was born in Harlem, comes from New York. He is a DJ, entertainer, comedian, all round crazy guy. He has a pencil tattoo on his face. I do think he resides now in LA, um, but he did a charity telethon with also with cactus plant who designed this 
and he dropped a hoodie t-shirt and a giant pencil which I will show you in just a second but so I got small as you can see that small what was amazing though about this to stop the bastard resellers he made this pre-order so you had the whole weekend to order get your order in guaranteed and then you, you know it took a while to get the product but I would rather do that all day long than have to the miss out and bots get it and resellers get it and whatever so one of the big things with cactus plant obviously is the puffy print so it's got curving frost annual telethon puffy print puffy print over here really really great I love cactus plant stuff I really do but it's so hard to get normally because it's not a pre-order thing but this was brilliant so you've got all the, I won't read it all out to you but it's got all this stuff the details um, from his show that he did it on YouTube I think so he, he auctioned off quite a lot of uh, celebrity stuff um, I think Sean Weatherspoon's Vespa was being auctioned off but he, you know he, I saw his post of all these that were getting ready to be shipped out they the, honestly there was pallets and pallets and pallets of these hoodies because they basically you know produced as many as people wanted so that I thought that was honestly so good I wish I really do wish that more companies did that i really do so i don't care about waiting forever to be quite honest for you know for an item if it's pre-ordered brilliant i really don't care so the second item as you can see is the giant pencil brilliant love this but this will not be being used this is definitely will be for display Look at that, right to higher learning. Love it. First annual KF telethon. And the rubber is actually real and you could technically write with it because it's proper lead there. It's got lead in its pencil. <clears throat> yeah, anyway, the less said about that, the better. So there we have it, look at that. That's my head, that's the pencil. It's a big one. So those were the two items I got from Kerwin Frost. This, I think if I am correct, is a company called Afield. Is it Japanese? I can't remember. No, it's not. Afield is American. Again, I saw this. I need, I'm in need of a puffy, well, puffy, yeah, fish winter jacket and I mean I do have winter jackets but I wanted something that was water resistant as well as puffy because I do have waterproof jackets but not sort of thick ish jackets oh look at this so this was extra small I got because it's a unisex item um, resource jacket so a field as I said, is an American brand. They do stock it at Union LA. They also run their own website so you can buy directly from them. I spoke to the guy actually about sizing. He knew I was getting Michael to get the jacket um, because of, you know, as we've already discussed, the custom charges. So look at this. Love it. So, it's getting late unfortunately I've just been working on the on the cabin so doing all the insulation so I do apologize about the light we will be getting the cabin soon I promise you it's just obviously I've got a lot of work to do within it this is all sort of water resistant that's the tag on there if you can see that a field and we've also got Pockets here, can you see that? Pockets there. 
pockets at the bottom and there you've got the branding on the pocket there also you have an inside pocket I love a good inside pocket there inside pocket and you have another pocket up here the top of your chest so here we have it guys I had to take my big essentials sweatshirt oversized sweatshirt off so I do have a t-shirt underneath but I think a thin sort of sweatshirt would be fine underneath this the length is perfect and I love it it's absolutely great so I also got this little carabiner I love carabiners don't ask me why I just do um so it's got a field there and then it's got for all global conditions on the other side comes with a nice little pouch just a really nice brand and I, I emphasize this a lot with you guys there's definitely more to life than supreme and I really have in the past sort of year and a half looked about for new brands how did I find I think I found a field through Union just for browsing their brands and then I went on their website um, and they just make some really nice sort of higher end um, hiking outdoor brands I mean this is super warm the heating's not in the, on in the house this is really warm um, so yeah it's great it's absolutely great I love it so yeah I would so this is an extra small I would I could have got away with a small but the arms are just perfect on this if I wanted to wear multiple layers underneath I would go for a small but as I I'm only going to be wearing sort of you know a thin sweatshirt maybe um, just a thin under layer under the sweatshirt this is fine for me but if you want to wear multiple layers but to be quite honest with you I don't really think you need multiple layers because it is a puffy coat you know it's it's uh, it's definitely not something where you need multiple layers underneath so just a thin sweatshirt would be fine um, so yeah this is absolutely brilliant I love it so this is part one I'm hoping I can do part two for you tomorrow so stay tuned okie dokie so it is the following day it is around the same time so I am um, I do apologize again once again for the lighting but if you do follow me on Instagram you will see the development in the outdoor studio that is what I've been doing pretty much every day since it's come um, it has been repaired now there was a few issues so I'm in the middle of doing the insulation and um, I've been making some shelves upcycling pallets and stuff like that so um, yeah so it is a bit later on in the day anyway so the second box arrived here it is oh my god and it is a heavy one it is a heavy one so as I said in the first part of this video um, my friend Michael oversees in here is my winnings but when i say my winnings we had a little bit of a bet anybody who buys the most trainers in the year basically um loses so we've been talking about buying too many trainers too many trainers blah 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 so i said oh we should have a little bet and the prize basically to the person who buys the least amount of trainers gets a tacky souvenir from the place where they live so obviously Michael's in LA I'm in the northwest of the UK and I won by a country mile he is on probably 2345 pairs of trainers I've plucked that out because I've no idea I have bought since the beginning of the year I've probably bought around I'm gonna say eight pairs of trainers maybe nine but 
we lost count. He's lost count of the amount of training. He buys about two a week. I am, I've been pretty damn good this year. So my winnings are in here and I don't know what it is. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as I said yesterday, I gave you my tips for buying from the States. Um, this worked a treat. They didn't go in the box. And again, he put a value of 40 no $50 the value of this box I'm gonna say is probably about I don't know 500 quid <laughs> something like that um, yeah there's a big value in this box so yesterday we had some lovely items of clothing today is more accessories so he's also included a present another present so as you can see happy birthday <laughs> majorly happy early birthday as mine's in june um he included a couple of presents which is amazing so again massive thank you i you know as i've said youtube friends it's it's definitely been the biggest positive of starting my channel so <laughs> it is really like my birthday Let's have a look. So this is one thing that he did give me, which I am really thankful for. Um, we did not get last season, the Ziploc clear bags from Supreme. We didn't get any. Why, I don't know, but we didn't get them. Um, so I had been looking out for a box for a decent price could have found one for a decent price so i sort of gave up really but then michael came along and said oh i've got a, i've got a few i've bought a few so you can have one so thank you so much once again these are going to come in very very handy so fantastic thank you very much for that massively appreciate it you also gave me a fantastic gift if you've been watching my channel for a while you might remember was it about it might be even nearly a year ago now it was australian summertime so i'm thinking it was maybe december january so maybe yeah maybe about eight months ago the australian bushfires oh my god as an animal lover absolutely broke my heart and i did a video promoting the channels to where you can donate now i donated to the koala um, rehabil rehabilitation fund um, I donated money there and he's basically got me this which I I didn't even know existed to be honest I, I don't really buy pop whatever they're called I don't even know what they're called I don't really buy these things but he got, got me this and honestly I was like really quite teary so it is the bushfire heroes little figure and honestly it was made up by that so you've got the little koala and the firefighter absolutely fantastic so i think some of the money from this went to the um funko pops that's what they're called um went to australia and to the um fund over there so again thank you Mike. that was such a sweet thing to do it really was but yeah that uh, that whole thing really did upset me but thankfully they are getting on the men now a lot of these um a lot of the koalas and stuff that and not just the koalas you know there was kangaroos and there's all sorts of wildlife that was suffering from it but a lot had been rescued as well so it is getting better over there so this I think is my prize, let me see what is the prize for, for winning the least amount, buying the least amount of sneakers this year, what is it? <laughs> so we've got, oh wow that's cool, so we've got an LA Dodgers t-shirt what's he like it's been too much he's meant to be like a key ring or something california republic magnet oh wow this is cool 
gone over the top. By the way, look at my look at my thumbs and my fingers. And that's from hammering today. Ah. Oh, that's cool. A Los Angeles magnet, California Republic magnet. They will be going on the fridge. And then a t-shirt, another t-shirt, he's mad. He's mad, he spent too much. Los Angeles, California t-shirt. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much, Michael. That is just brilliant. <laughs> Crazy boy, I just thinking like a key ring or a badge. You're mad, you've gone too much. Anyway, the creme de la creme of items is in this box. Many of you, in the States anyway, I don't know about over here, but many of you who are Nike connoisseurs, lover of all things Nike, um, may know that, um, when was it now? I'm not sure, get, time goes so fast, honestly, my, my sense of time is terrible. I'm gonna say it was about two, three weeks ago. No, no, it's gotta be longer than that. Two, three months, maybe. Um, a lot of sneaker shops over in America, we didn't have this, had a, a raffle for these very limited, very collectible, Nike um, jigsaw puzzles. Now, because it was literally US only, the price of these is only gonna go like that. I got these, might seem very expensive, but I got them for about 400 quid for the set. Now these are already going up. I've seen them going up and I've seen them for like a, a grand a few this full set i've seen for a, a grand or around about that so that is the full set like that so for example this one is 225 out of 325 so this one's pretty rare as you can see there and that's the back and that is the front, so it's about the waffles. This one in the middle is the one that's a little bit more um, more available, <laughs> although I've got to say it's still limited. 639 out of 100, sorry, 1,225. So I was after this one to begin with, and then I saw a steal. And I know it sounds expensive, but it really was a steal. A steal for the whole set. Someone was trying to charge me like 300 quid just for this. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go for the whole set. Um, so that's the one that I made the most of. And then this one is a 325 one. Um, this was eight, 82 of 325. So the back is all the same, I think. No, so it is slightly different. So on that one, it says, be true to your school, which we know is obviously the original dunk. I had pretty much most of those and I am starting to get them back. Um, and then you've got the, uh, is it the Air Force? Yeah, it's the Air Force graphic. And Obviously that's the, the end of the logo and the back. So I'm not gonna open these as yet. I, I might open them, I don't know, just because, as I say, they're highly collectible, but I am really glad I bought them when I did. And they will go on my shelf, they will be going in my studio, so they're gonna be a fantastic display piece. I might end up, I don't know, I might even end up making it and framing them. So I've not quite decided as yet. But that is the mega haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I'm absolutely blown away by this. The, this guy, honestly, Michael, is such a nice bloke, so generous, so fantastic. I've met so many great people from, um, from doing YouTube. And to be quite honest with you, that is the main reason why I continue because as, because as you know, I am small fry. I've only got about, you know, just under 2000 subscribers. 
the fact that I've met so many great people, it just it encourages me to carry on really. The views have gone absolutely shocking for a lot of YouTubers right now. But and, and obviously people who are very small do suffer even more than the big YouTubers. So it has been a little bit disheartening, but I continue to do these videos because I know a lot of people do like them and um, I do find them pretty enjoyable. It'll be even better, as I say, once I've decked out the studio and the light will be will be a lot better. It's just I am doing it all up myself with my dad's help as well. So it's going to take a bit of time, but we'll get there. We'll get there in the end. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support this far. You guys are fantastic. And all about that, we'll see you in the next one. Keep it real, guys.